Hey guys, so, um, first things first, yes, I know, before I say it, same shirt as yesterday. The day kind of got away from me real quick. It's already almost 6 p.m. I'm going to crash within the next couple hours because I fall asleep crazy early because I get up crazy early. It doesn't make much sense to get dressed at this point. So, yeah, totally being a bum today and just re-wearing clothes. I know. Gross. I will definitely change them tomorrow morning. <laughs> but anyway, so um, now that that's out of the way... Um, actually, if you guys want to see what I've been working on today, um, I can show you. I will grab it. Not that anybody cares that much, but I am going to do it anyway. So, I realized, yes, I could have just thrown on a jacket and pretended like I actually changed my clothes and I'm not a total gross bum of a person, but that would be dishonest, so whatever. Uh, anyway, so, um, and so those of you who follow my Instagram, saw the green version of this. I got most of a blue one done. It'll be another one of those, um, the, uh, twisted knit headbands. They don't look that great on me, but on other people they look better. Oh my god, my hair is a hot mess. What even? Uh, but yeah, so most of one of these is done. It'll be up and available soon. If you want a green one, follow the link down below to my Etsy. You got I've got two of them up in the shop. There will be more colors coming soon, as well as a bunch of those trendy bun beanies coming soon, too. But anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> Shameless plugs out of the way. Let me just scooch those somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Told you, just, I'm a hot mess today. Uh, I should probably hit stop on this or edit this out, but I'm not going to, because why the fuck not? Anyway, it's Friday. It took me until about five minutes ago to remember it is Friday and not Thursday today, which means it's Foodie Friday. And, um, I was a bit naughty. I usually wait till I do the food reviews before I open the things. I kind of opened this last weekend, and since then I ate almost all of them, so I figured if I'm going to review this, I better hurry up and do it before they're gone, but the birthday cake Oreos. It should tell you something, that there is only about that many left, and I'm the only one who's been eating that because I am a disgusting pig. <laughs> but they're really good. So anyway... Honestly, this is not the first time I've had this flavor of them, and that's kind of why I cheated and opened them early, because I knew they're good, and I got tired of waiting. Yeah. So, anyway, these are, unlike the black variation of the Oreos, these are the golden-type Oreos, which actually I personally prefer. No, they don't taste like chocolate. You're right. But, personally, they don't make the huge black crummy mess which is a huge plus to me. When you got traumatized in elementary school for eating them with your lunch and nobody told you about this situation going on until somebody decided to be a total jerk and then the whole class laughs at you over it and then there's a phone call home over it. Yeah. Um, I, I like to stick to the golden type nowadays when possible. But anyway, so um, let me show you. Twisted apart. It's not just what. Oh, okay, you can kind of see it if I tilt it like this because I have the lamp literally right there. It's very bright. Um, it actually has sprinkles in the frosting, like a birthday cake, and it's really cute. And the frosting does smell sweeter than typical Oreo frosting because it is. Now, the actual golden cookie part is just golden Oreo flavor. It's just like vanilla cookie. So it's like vanilla inception since this is basically super sweet cake frosting vanilla. And then you got vanilla cookie. It's vanilla on vanilla with sprinkles. I like it. I'm sorry, that was gross. I'm usually good about not doing that without putting my hand in front of my mouth. I am so sorry. Okay. So the frosting itself 
if you scrape just a little bit off with your teeth so you can taste just the frosting. It's not just coloring. They legit are actual sprinkles. You can feel them on your tongue as the frosting breaks down. They are legit sprinkles. So, if you're not a sprinkle person, you probably won't like this. If you like sprinkles, you'll probably love this, unless you don't like really sweet things. That is the complaint literally everyone else in this household has had with this type of Oreos in the past when we've gotten them, is that they're too sweet. And in the past, I also ate basically the entirety of the whole thing because I was the only one who liked them. Again, I am a totally gross human being. But, um, the fact that I ate almost the whole thing in less than a week is probably bad. Oh well! <laughs> Too late now, already did it. But, um, and if that were the only cookies I'd eaten, that'd still be bad. But, um, Christmas baking has been going on, so you can only imagine how many cookies altogether, this plus those, has been happening. The diabetes is gonna get me one of these days, I'm pretty sure. It runs on both sides, and yet, I keep walking the line. I'm like, mm, I know I shouldn't, but I'm gonna, and it's gonna catch up to me. I don't know where the fuck my brain is today. I am sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> that kind of took an interesting turn. And yes, I am completely sober right now, before any of you ask. But, uh, but yeah, I know some Oreos are better when you eat them, like, all together. Certain ones are better when you twist them apart and eat one half at a time. This is a type that I think is best not only twist it apart and a half at a time, but twist it apart, eat one half, scrape the icing off, eat that, then eat the other half of the cookie. That's just me, though. I don't know. You guys might be different. Maybe you like it all together. It's not bad all together. I just personally like to appreciate and savor the individual tastes and textures of it. But, again, that's just me. I'm gonna get that green sprinkle. Damn it. Got it. Again, I don't know what my brain is today. But, um... I wonder if I could make pictures in it. This really is not something I should attempt on camera, is it? No. As I'm looking at this, I'm like, hmm, just looking at the shape of this that I did with my teeth, I'm like, I bet I could make a Batman. And then I had the thought of, that is a really bad idea. There is no way I should be doing this on camera. Unless if I want to become the next meme or something, but half of you have probably already tried to make me one, I don't know. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. It is very, very sweet. And if you're not into things that are very over-the-top sweet, we're talking like marshmallow sweet, you probably won't dig it much. But I think it's pretty good. There is a fine line between too sweet and just really sweet. And I think it's on the correct side of that line to where it's not too much, but I mean, everyone else in the house feels like it is. So I mean, it might be for you, it might not, it just is a personal thing. But for me personally, I find myself grabbing a handful of these at a time. And that's kind of how I've eaten most of the thing in less than a week. Well, that, and eating them absentmindedly while working on my projects, so that kind of doesn't help much. <laughs> anyway. Let me eat the last little bit. Isn't this exciting? Aren't you so glad you're subbed to my channel? No, you're not, but we're here anyway. I probably just lost like 10 subs for this video, I'm sure of it. But yeah, anyway. So these, for me personally, I really like these. And of the flavored Oreos that aren't, like, their normal flavors, I personally, I think, let's see. Initially I was going to say 5 out of 5. I don't know, maybe 4 out of 5. Because 
for a lot of people, it is really, really sweet. I think it's just right, but then again, I'm the same person who has been known to take a spoon and just, like, eat a whole spoonful of cake frosting on its own and think nothing of it. Gee, I don't know why I'm unhealthy as crap. Hmm. But uh, it's all beginning to come together now. <laughs> um, yeah, that. So given that I don't find that to be too sweet, it doesn't shock me that I think this is pretty fine. Whereas everyone else is like, oh my god, you nasty bastard, how can you even eat those? I'm like, because I'm the same person that can eat spoonfuls of cake frosting. I'm the same person who can eat spoonfuls of Nutella on its own and think nothing of it. And other assorted various very sweet things that probably were never meant to be just eaten straight on their own, but I do anyway because I'm a gross person. But um... <laughs> The fact that I'm not, like, 500 pounds is a wonder, not gonna lie. Like, one of these days, my, my metabolism is gonna slow down, and it's gonna kick my ass. And I'm gonna be a total fatty. And I'm gonna be too lazy to change it, and then it'll probably take my ass out. But, um, till then, I'm gonna enjoy it. But, uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna regret it, no doubt. But, uh, yeah. I'm in mild self-loathing mode right now, not gonna lie. But, um... Yeah, I personally enjoy these. I think they're really good. Um, and of the different types of flavored Oreos, I find these to be a tiny bit softer than some of the other ones, which for me is fantastic since I have a hard time biting into things that are too hard. So it's another reason that I personally really like these, but it is one of those things where it all has to do with what is your threshold for sweet things. If you have a high threshold for it and you can handle really sweet, you will probably absolutely love these. If not so much, and you have to, like, cut sweetness with things on a lot of stuff, then you probably want to just skip this purchase. <laughs> I mean, if somebody else has a pack of them and you want to try just one, I mean, maybe at that point you can see if it's too sweet for you not or not. But if you're on the fence, this might not be the flavor for you if you don't like things that are super, super sweet. Just saying... Just trying to throw it out there that, for as much as I love them, it, it's definitely not a flavor for everyone. I will be the first one to admit that. But, if you're into really sweet things, I feel like little kids would probably shit their pants over how awesome these are. <laughs> and they'd probably, like, eat the whole thing and think nothing of it. But, um, but I've noticed it's a thing that... The older you get, your tolerance for sweetness does kind of diminish over time. Even with myself, but yeah, my tolerance for it has gone down some, but stuff like this I still very much enjoy. But there's other things where it's like, how did I ever eat da 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 at any point in time and not find it, like, sickeningly sweet? There's things like that, too, that now I'm like, oh my god, that's like pure glucose, what the hell? But, um... These, thankfully, I can still appreciate and love, so yay. For how many years, who knows, but for now, I love them, so. But yeah, um, so just saying. I think if you're a young person or a little kid, chances are you'll probably like it. If you're older, I would say play it by ear. If you're into sweet stuff, cool. If you're not into sweet stuff, skip it. Easy enough. So anyway, um, actually, let's look at the nutrition facts. I'm gonna make myself feel real bad now. I'm stop looking at them. I really shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Maybe I'll make myself chill out on them if I do. <sighs> let's see here. Serving size, two cookies. Uh, and I'm over here like... <laughs> Apparently, I eat like three or four servings at a time. Servings per container, about 15. I'm like, servings per container? More like about three. <laughs> uh, calories, 150 per two cookies. Calories from fat, 60. Seven grams of total fat, which is 11% of your daily value. Two grams of saturated fat, that's 10% of your daily value. Oh, I'm so fucked. Trans fat, zero. Cholesterol, zero. Sodium, 80 milligrams, 3% of your daily value. That's actually not that bad. Potassium, 10 milligrams, 0% of your daily value. But potassium's a good thing, so... Um, total carbohydrates, 21 grams, 7%. Dietary fiber, 0. Oh, no shit. Sugar is 12 grams. 
That shocks me. Really? I would have put money on it. That would be way higher than that. That was actually the number I was looking for here. I am very shocked. I thought that was going to be like 50 or something. I mean, a soda is like 30 to 40 on average. So I thought this was going to be higher than that. That is impressive. And that's for two cookies. Okay, maybe these aren't quite... <laughs> I, I'm trying to justify it to myself, and it's not working. I'm trying to make myself feel like, oh, well, these aren't that bad for you. It's like, mm, yeah, they are. They're, they're totally bad for you. But, um, oh, uh, goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well, when ingredient number one is sugar, that should tell you things about things. But is it going to stop me from eating them? But, uh, yeah, let me put these back in the bag because that sticky seal on the lift top thing does not really hold. So since I don't want them to go stale, I personally, this is just me, you can do it however the hell you want, but, um, I keep them in one of those freezer bags just because it's an extra layer to keep the air out so they don't go stale. Because as you can see, the sticky really does not work on these, and I don't know why... They switched this kind of a reclosing, resealable system because it doesn't work. Um, I liked it back when um, I think it was Chips Ahoy who did this, but I'm sure other brands did it too. Um, had the little twisty plastic thing on the end that um you could roll down as far as you needed it to go, and then flip the things on the end to hold it down. That was fantastic! They should bring that shit back! They should be doing that with Oreos! But no, we get the sticky peel lift top thing. Oh my god, I've been talking for 17 minutes. I need to shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> I am kind of just rambling right now. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that. Um, birthday cake Oreos. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> horribly unhealthy, incredibly over-the-top sweet, and yet I personally kind of love them. <laughs> so that's, oh, uh, goodness, yeah. <laughs> Fair warning, you probably shouldn't eat an entire pack of them, at least not in one sitting. Hey, I didn't do it in one sitting! I've spread it across three or four sittings. Uh, yeah, again, I, I'm trying so hard to make myself feel better. It's like, th there is no redeeming factor here. I, th this is, this is not a healthy thing. I am not a healthy person. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna wrap this video up and get it up on the YouTube's machine and get on with filming my other stuff for tonight, because I still have, uh, let's see. I think I have another tag video and a review that I have been really eager to do for a while of the Soft Lips Hello Kitty. Um, this one's a repackaged um, one of the Salted Caramel from a couple years ago, but god, isn't it adorable? But um, no, the one that I'm going to review is the other one. It's Chocolate Mint. I'm very excited because I know that overseas they got a release just of the regular plain soft lips cube of that, and we didn't, as far as I know, anyway. I think the only version we got is this Hello Kitty one, so I'm like, oh, yay, I can't wait to try it. I bet you it smells like a York peppermint patty, and that is amazing, so, yeah. That'll be going up later tonight, as well as probably a tag video. It depends on how long it takes these two videos to upload. Given how long this one is, there may or may not be that tag video tonight. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But I can make no promises. So, anyway, wrapping this up. As usual, if you like the video, click the like button. If you're not already, you'd like to be, click the subscribe. Leave comments down below. And until next time, bye!